Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Midas and I'm going to show you guys today how to design a YouTube banner. Now, this is not complicated. This is super easy what I'm going to be showing you guys. So don't even worry about it. It's not that tough. So to start, I want you guys to make sure you have Adobe Photoshop CC. It doesn't matter or, or, or CS6. It doesn't matter what year. It could be 2019, 2018, 2017. It just might be a different in the kind of terms used within the program or within the software. So let's get right to it. The first thing you want to do is download the channel art template which I will provide a link for you to you know get in the description so make sure you check in the description for the channel art template it's gonna be in an archive folder and then you just have to unarchive it and get this PSD for Photoshop so when you open this up it's gonna you know just open up your Photoshop and basically open up the template that you've already downloaded and then what you're gonna do next is now that you have this open you want to make sure that you create a new layer so this is gonna be your background layer because you don't have any layers in here yet so you just want to create a background layer and put it all the way to the bottom right there next thing you want to do is go to view and make sure your rulers are enabled so as you can see right here mine is already enabled so make sure you enable that and then you pull this line right here and all you have to do is set your parameters just set your parameters so once you have your parameters set, the next thing to do is on is basically to hide the spec and the art. Once you hide all that, the next thing to do is to draw rectangles, black rectangles at the top and the bottom. So to do that, you got to set your foreground color to black. As you can see, I already have mine set to black. All you have to do is just click that square and choose black. Select OK and then choose the rectangle tool right here and then just draw two rectangles. Make sure you don't get past these lines. That's why you drew those parameters in the first place. Now, once you have that done, the next thing to do is put in your background. I already have mine downloaded, but I'm gonna show you guys where you can, how you can get really, you know, high quality background photos. So you wanna go on Google and search up anything. So I got waves opened up right now. Make sure you have HD at the end of, every, you know, whatever you search up. So you can you can search up, I don't know, if you play Grand Theft Auto, let's say, you, you, you know, you play like a lot of video games, then you wanna search up something like this and you can, you can use these, you know, these, as long as the resolution is at least 1920 by 1080, you should be fine. So you get what what you want here and then you grab that you also i usually like to use a grunge background it's like a grunge um texture to mix with my background so you can also look for a grunge you just search up grunge background hd the same thing and then there's different colors different styles i already have mine downloaded so i just want to show you guys where you can get this also you want to get your fonts ready to go because this is what you're going to be doing next is using front fonts and the best thing to do is go to this website font.com this is the best you know place to get free fonts you know different kind of fonts all kinds of fonts it's crazy but my favorite usually brush trash or handwritten these are usually the ones i use the most you can use whatever you want you just go around and you know mess around and see what they got but i already have mine downloaded like i said i, I have I've already I've already downloaded everything so you guys you know you can you can basically look at the name of my fonts if you want to use it and then just search it up here you'll find it. it's that easy also one last thing is you want to go to this website right here I'm gonna have the links to each and every one of these websites in the description so don't worry about that you want to go to cleanpng.com and look for social media icons you can use whatever kind of icons you want but look for individual icons so you see Twitter I already have that open so you look for whatever media icons you you know you use you want to use so it's up to you or you can just forget about using social media icons and you know have your youtube banner more plain that way you can use like the embedded links that they already have like youtube has these new links that you can just you know put on your youtube banner that way you don't have to use these or you can just use these up to you man but let me show you guys how to do what i'm saying now let's get back to the video i'm gonna open up my two backgrounds my grunge and my waves background which i already have downloaded as you can see waves right here i'm gonna pull this in here and as you, as you can see it's a full cover that's because of the resolution and you just pull it down to underneath both rectangle layers as you can see right there and once you have that done you want to go and pull in the grunge i have mine right here and just pull it right in there this is a little bit smaller but i, I really wanted this grunge so i'm gonna keep this grunge i'm not gonna expand it i could but it doesn't really matter because i'm gonna be you're, you're gonna see in a second what i'm gonna do with this grunge so you can see it's underneath it's where it's supposed to be you want it between you want it above the waves basically and once you have it there you can change the opacity i would usually put mine at like halfway through about 50 but then i have to expand this because it doesn't look as good so 
with the full grunge now it looks better it looks like like waves with like a little bit of, i don't know what, what what i'd call this but it's up to you it's up to you this is just for the purpose of the video so you can also come here and mess with a bunch of the different blend modes the blend modes will allow you you know have different kind of styles so you mess with the blend mode and the opacity and then you can have something pretty nice so i usually would go overlay if anything because it just overlays the grunge over that so you can try that you can do whatever you want i'll keep it at that right now for, uh, like at this right now so next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're clicking on the waves and then go to adjustments then go to hue and saturation then you click colorize so now this is my favorite part you want this hue and saturation to definitely be above the grunge you want it you want your grunge to be between your hue and saturation and waves you can also put it below here it's up to you it will mess with your with, with what i'm trying to explain to you guys but you know it's up to you do what you need to do man so for the hue you, you can you can use this to change the color of your black background so you can see what i'm doing with mine i don't know if you, you guys can see this but i'm gonna go with something more like almost gold right there and then your saturation is gonna increase like the brightness or whatnot see you see that so i'm just gonna keep it right here the lightness is also gonna obviously increase or reduce the you know brightness of the of what you got so i'm just gonna keep you know keep this where it's at so you guys can mess around with the controls and go go you know with what you need so next thing you want to do is put in your text so i'm gonna be using obelix pro cry that's what i'm gonna be using for my main text and i'm just gonna type in here black midas because that's my name or my youtube name and next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna resize this image and to do that we need to play we need to press Control T on Windows or Command T if you're on Apple OS. And then you hold down Alt, the Alt button, and then you resize the image. Just drag, just drag. Resize to however large you want it to be. So it's up to you how you want it to be. Just put it as large as you need to be. You can always modify this, change it as need as you know as needed. And then you hit the check mark. If you wanted to align this to like the center, I'm gonna show you guys an easy way to do it. So you make sure the layer is selected and you click Control A to select the whole thing. Then you go over to layer, align layers to selection, and then vertical centers. You see it, that's aligned down there. And if you wanted to, you know, get it to like the center horizontally which i'm not going to be doing i'm just going to show you how to do it is you come down here and you click horizontal center as you can see so i'm just going to go back one step so i can just you know show you guys how i'm going to make this one but i'm just showing you guys how you could do it if you wanted to center your text now the next thing you want to do is you want to blend you want to you know adjust the blending options of this so you can make it more pop you, you can make it pop a lot more so the first thing you want to do is you want to put a drop shadow i usually like to put a drop shadow first so it darkens it and then i can you know make it brighter it's up to you how you want it how you want to do it so i usually keep my distance at zero it's just for anything it doesn't matter i'll always keep my distance at zero and then you can mess around with the size and the spread and see what you like out of glow is also nice as you can see i have white right there i could put any color i want so, you know you just click on it and then you can click right here to change the color so i like white i'm gonna go with that and then you don't want the noise you want the settings to be similar to this you can always mess around with these ones you know you can mess mess around with them to see what you like and for the color overlay i don't like using color overlays for just because they're pretty boring or just bland but it's up to you you can just use that because boring is sometimes a lot more more than you know too much now gradient overlay is what i would usually use for my channel but like you can use whatever you want so gradient overlay you can click on the gradient right here and choose whatever style you want you can even edit the styles by clicking these little square um square things right here and just click okay and okay again so once you have this here you can also do one more thing sorry you want to put a stroke because i would like to i would usually put strokes on my main like text you know to make it pop a lot more now i gotta maybe even bring up the size of the drop shadow or the glow as you can see i can increase that but it's to you i don't know if this looks good but whatever looks good to you guys you can you know mess around with but um i have this done next thing to do is to put your social media you know icons i'm only i'm only going to be using two for this video just to make it as short as possible you can use as much as possible two will be enough for me to show you know what i want to show you guys you know with that so before we do that you see these little dotted things around here if you want to just deselect an item all you have to do is press Control d or command d on apple so once we have this done next thing to do is like i said create a text i'm going to be using a different font for this style so grow bold is my go-to text for this one so i'm gonna put on for the purpose of this video at midas that's what i'm gonna be using as my handle that is not my handle for any social media but i'm gonna use it for this for this video so we're gonna adjust the blending mode or the blending options on this as well just like we did with black midas it's a little bit messed up right now i'm gonna adjust that in a second so first thing you want to do is put on like an outer glow is what i usually put and then i put on a drop shadow as well as usual you can always tweak these you know spread and like size just to make it darker if you want like look at that it's just changing it up and then you can put a stroke on if you want it's up to you you can do whatever you want man it's crazy like that you can even change the color overlay to gold black white whatever you want but i'm just gonna leave it at black for the purpose of the video so we're gonna click oh and then we're gonna click okay and then the next thing to do is we're gonna duplicate this layer so you can click you can right click and then click
click the duplicate layer option here or you can just press Control J or Command J on Apple to duplicate and then just grab this make sure it's selected might as copy and then pull it just pull it you can align it as you see you see those little pink lines they help you identify if you're if you know if they're if both of those layers are aligned so you see right here I got all three like there and then that's it good so you want to put your icons that's the next thing you want to do I already have mine downloaded I already showed you guys where you can get them from so I'm gonna put on I don't know I'm gonna put on Instagram and maybe Twitter so once you have, once you pull it in here next thing to do is to resize it I've already told you guys how to do that so you just have to press down the alt, alt button since this is already selected and just resize right there and you can see the width and the height 0.6 inches as you can see right there so it'll help you with dimensions for the next one so I will usually just reduce this first and just you know put it right here in front of this it's up to you how, how you want to you know if you want it super close or not what it, it depends on how you want it but this is a little off screen so I'm gonna pull this down have it right there and then bring this downwards as well this one's gonna come here and right here so it's aligned again so the next thing you want to do is you want to pull in your Twitter icon and then press down alt and resize as well you can you see it you can look at the dimensions right there as well but I didn't look at it so I, like I said I'm just trying to make this video as quick as possible you guys can do all the extra stuff I'm not really gonna mess around with that not for the video at least but it's great to do all that to make your you know make your make your thing look just as good so you resize it and you just click that so now we got it right there so I think I'd rather put this just a little closer to each other you know it's all about how you feel how you feel you want to have it look this is just me messing around with like what I got right now just for you guys to know what you're working with what you could be working with you know okay so we have we have it right there I'm just gonna leave that right there the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust I'm gonna fix this so that's back to where it's supposed to be and now next thing we're gonna do or next thing I'm gonna show you guys that you could do is you want to make sure that both of your uh, social media icons are also popping with this little thing right here so you can just copy the layer style right here from one of your one of your um text layers and then paste them on your icon layers basically right here paste layer style paste layer style so that's it it's pretty easy right there pretty simple this is just a basic version I will make an advanced tutorial if you guys want one of those but this is a this is a basic tutorial this is all you need for right now so the next thing I'll usually do is put an image of myself because I, I I like to have a channel where it's not really restricted to anything you know not telling me that I'm just a gamer or whatnot it's just me but if you have a you know a preference or if you have a, a niche you're going into then you want to make sure you're putting images that's similar to that or you can just put an image of yourself because it's the internet you can do whatever you want so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this so what what I did right here was basically pull the photo in here and then I chose the quick selection tool Well, I zoomed in first by pressing Z on the keyboard and just zooming in and then I chose a quick selection tool and all you got to do is select this you do it once you have this done you right click and choose select the mass and you put your radius to two you can put it you can adjust this as you see as you see fit just tweak it around and see how it works for you and then you can go from there I usually just do this as default because it doesn't really change much you can use this as well it wouldn't really do much or change much for you as well but I use it like that so then you lay over your copy once you have that and you have your eye your, your your cutout right here so your cutout can be pulled into this one and then resized Control T or Command T, then press down the Alt button and then pull to resize. As you can see right there, I have my little dude right. That that that's me right there, man. <laughs> okay, so you resize this and you just hit the check mark. So then you go to blending options. It's always cool to do that too with this. You put your drop shadow, outer glow. You can put even a stroke if you want it. That's if you want it. But I would I wouldn't I wouldn't put a stroke. I don't like strokes on you know icons like this or sorry on images like this. So that's basically it for this video, man. There's a a lot more you can do with these things but this is the most basic version I can show you guys so uh make sure you like the video if you like the video and make sure you click that sub button you know subscribe because we're gonna be rolling out these videos as much as possible trying to help you guys get your YouTube channel started gaming you know lifestyle fitness whatever it is man these videos are gonna help you out and it's your boy Midas and I'm out